Uzumaki came out recently. Now, I, um, personally in my circle, like, there was one of my friends who was, like, really excited for seeing Uzumaki when it was announced to come out. And I was just like, I was gonna pass because... Look, we, 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 all, we had the Junji Ito collection. I think that's more than enough reason for me to pass on it. And I watched the first episode, though. And it blew me away with how beautiful it was. But maybe it's just me, but I felt like it was a little too well done, if it makes any sense. I know that's kind of a weird thing for me to complain about, but it's just like, I kind of feel like it does feel like you put your best foot forward and then had nothing to back up with. That's the thing. And it just got worse and worse every single time. Apparently, the uh, the, the people who were making it, uh, there was somebody behind the scenes of Uzumaki, apparently, who had... Uh, it, it apparently fucked up the production. They didn't say who, but other than that, I mean, like, again, with Uzumaki, I watched the first episode genuinely genuinely was like really good i loved the hell out of it but it felt like every single scene it felt like there was always like something moving something in motion and it was just like i guess yeah rotoscoping i think is the case and it's just like that's cool but going for that for the entire episode i was just like you can cut back at some points just like maybe hold off on the rotoscoping and like the high quality animation for some of the more Specifically, like, the bigger horror moments? Eh, I don't know. It is what it is, but I did expect this to honestly bomb. I, I wasn't expecting that first episode, though. But, yeah. The later episodes, I was just like, yeah, that's, that's kind of what I was expecting.